our balloon frog, we're going to use a 260 and I'm using lime green. And take your, your pump and just inflate to, I've got a tail here of about seven fingers or so. Let's out a little bit of air and tie. Okay, make a three finger bubble. Okay and hold that between your little finger and your ring finger. Next, take a little bit of white scrap. We're not going to use very much at all. I just want to put a little bit of air in there. Okay, and give her a twist just to hold on to the air. And then you want to tie that onto that green 260. Okay, and if you've got a little bit of a tail here as I have then trim that off okay so that's what you've got then next in your green balloon give it a squeeze and make two more three finger bubbles and hang on to those make sure they don't come undone switch to your white balloon and make two three finger bubbles in the white balloon Make another one like that. Okay, then wrap these together. Okay, trim off the end of your white balloon and then just tie that in. Okay, and then as before, if you've got a long portion of slack, just trim that off. Make another three finger bubble. Okay, and then connect this bubble to this bubble. So just take the nozzle, wrap it through a few times, give your balloon a squeeze, and make a loop of about five fingers. This loop needs to be soft. Twist that round. Okay, so this is what you've got. Now take these two bubbles, and we're going to roll them through this loop. Okay, so that's what you've got. Then make a pinch twist of two to three fingers. Next, take a little piece of 160. You could use pale pink, you could use red. Uh, I've got a bit of uh, wild berry here. So whatever colour uh, you fancy. We just need a little piece. So inflate and tie. Okay. And you want this to be very, very soft. So give it a good squeeze. Then wrap that knot into the back of that pinch twist. So take your balloon, stretch it out. And as you stretch it out, twist Okay, so you've got this long uninflated portion and you want to trace the underside of the mouth and just have that uninflated portion just kind of nestling in the uh, split between the lower bubble, green bubble and the upper green bubble. And at this point, you want to squeeze off a very soft bubble of three to four fingers. And we're going to want some more uninflated balloons. So take the opportunity now to just squeeze that out. And squeeze the air to the left. And as you do that, just twist. So you've got this uninflated section and twisted section here. And then push this bit of mouth up into the balloon. And again, with that uninflated section, we're just pushing that under, under the underside of the mouth and locating that split between the two green balloons, okay? And just pulling it along that split. And then pull your red balloon back and wrap it into that pinch twist at the back, okay? And we can break this off in time. And if you're enjoying this video, be sure to check out my friendly bug series of insects and bugs from around the garden. Next, in this balloon, make another three finger pinch twist. 
Next, take a 260 in a contrasting shade of green and we're going to make a flower. So just inflate that to all oh, five or six fingers of tail, give everything a squeeze and I'm just going to make loops of four to five fingers. So make a loop, pull the nozzle through and we're going to make a flower, so flower petal. So however many uh, petals you want to do is entirely your choice. Whether you want to do four, whether you want to do five or six or seven. That's, those choices are yours to make, as I often say. Okay. that end in. So we've got our base in a contrasting shade of green. Next take a quick link in lime green and I'm going to inflate that to about four inches or so. Twist the neck, take your base and just wrap that neck into that base. And if you don't have a lime green quick link, don't worry, use the end of a, a 350 or um, make your own quick link using a five inch round and a raisin. You don't have to go out and buy the quick links. If, you're not, if you don't have a use for lots of five inch uh, lime green quick links, don't go and buy them, please don't. Um, there are lots of other things that you could do, you know, you could use 260s and go up and down uh, for the body uh, three or four times. Um, you could use uh, the end of a 350 as I've already said, or you could use a 5 inch lime green and with a raisin and make your own connection point at the, um, at the base of the balloon. So there are lots of other ways to achieve this effect, so don't go and buy quick links unless you need them. So take the tip of your quick link and just pinch hold of the end and push the air into that quick link. Okay. And take hold of your frog's head and just wrap this tip into those two pinch twists at the back of the head. Take the rest of this lime green 260 and just bring it down and wrap it into the base. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So just fold your balloon up here, twist off a bubble, and then wrap that into those two pinch twists at the back of the head. And then you can trim this off and tie or wrap it in, whichever you prefer. Take a green Sharpie. I'm using the darker green, and I'm using a brush tip. And just halfway across this um, white bubble, you want to draw a horizontal line on both bu bubbles, okay? And then you want to draw a semicircle on each bubble. And then just colour that in. If you're in a line work, work situation, this is obviously not um, going to be feasible for you to do this much artwork but if you are wanting to add this to another piece or a bigger sculpture or a display then you know you've got the time to spend on the artwork on the on drawing the face next take a black sharpie and again i'm using the brush tip and draw part of a circle underneath that lid. And then just fill in those partial circles. Okay? And then provided this green is dry, we just want to outline the green eyelids with black.
And whilst we're here, just take your black Sharpie and you want to just draw a couple of little lines for nostrils. And with your paint pen, just make sure that the black Sharpie is dry and I'm just going to do the two little white highlights in the eyes. And as a final touch, if you want to, you can add a few green splodges or circles. Do remember to hit the like button for this video and to subscribe to my channel.